All right, time now for a very special edition of Pop News from the red carpet. Let's go back to Rachel Smith looking gorgeous in Hollywood. Hey, Rachel. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Already hitting this red carpet dark and early here in Los Angeles. Let's jump on into this Oscar Sunday edition of Pop News. First up, a little fashion glitz and glam. For the fashion conscious, that is, the Oscars is an opportunity to sport some serious bling. It's not uncommon for big starlets to rock millions of dollars worth of jewels, but we are hearing it's not just the celebrities who will be blinged out. We're told the producers have been trucking in thousands of Swarovski crystals to deck out the set for Idina Menzel's performance of Let It Go, the Oscar-nominated song from Frozen, and to be exact, around 165,000 sparkling crystals, which are sure to dazzle even even the biggest Hollywood stars. Another little gem for you guys. We've also managed to get you a little sneak peek at the Oscars green room. Now this is the spot where all the stars will hang out as they prepare for their presenting roles. And it is the genius work of a New York ar architect named David Rockwell, who was hand selected by the editor of Architectural Digest to create the spectacular space. Now check this out. It includes 86 Samsung devices on one wall alone. A Twitter mirror because, you know, some celebs might want to indulge in some selfie action. And uh, 14 frame movie photos handpicked by Susan Sarandon. There's also an adjacent outdoor lounge area they're calling the Fantasy Garden. It looks very, very chic. Let's hope they have an awning for any rain that may be coming in. And the Oscars have not only taken over Hollywood, but also social media. As a part of our partnership with Facebook, GMA likes the Oscars. We've got the inside scoop on which stars are getting the most buzz. And it seems if Facebook users were voting, Sandra Bullock and J-Law would have it in the bag for Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress. Now, in the Best Actor category, Matthew McConaughey is getting the most buzz, except among 18 to 34 year olds. Now, they're prefer preferring Leonardo DiCaprio. And it seems to be a two-horse race for Best Supporting Actor. The guys of Facebook are rooting for Bradley Cooper, whereas the girls, they are all talking about them some Jared Leto. Hmm, I'm thinking it's those eyes and that hair. <laughs> and finally, as you can imagine, the Oscar rehearsals are an incredibly crucial part of the process, and none of the stars are exempt. Now, Pharrell, Bette Midler, and Karen O, they have all been rehearsing their big performances, and we've also seen the star presenters, plenty of them showing up very casual in jeans to practice their lines and of course find out where they've got to stand on stage and this is a little fun nugget for you there are also rehearsal actors who sit in the first few rows with placards showing the names and faces of who will actually occupy the seats later tonight and our own Lara Spencer has been practicing on the red carpet with Sandins as well tweeting out this great snapshot from her rehearsal check it out Awesome. Great, guys. Well, that's pop news from the red carpet. Well, Happy Oscar Sunday. Great to see you on the red carpet again, Rachel. You know, when I interviewed Adina Menzel a couple of weeks ago, she said she was so nervous for this, too. So it's a big night. Got to feel for her. Thank <laughs> you, Rachel. Right back.